Hey, what is going on? We are back up here at the farm. Um, I did not end up breaking out the camera yesterday just because I was strained for time. Mondays are the worst, especially Mondays coming off vacation. Uh, but we did do some things yesterday I was really kind of not happy that I didn't get uh, footage of, but I'll uh, show you um, that in the installed application and uh, uninstalled and kind of what I'm getting at is doors. Uh, we did a couple of walk doors yesterday, uh, so I want to show you that. But what I'm also going to show you today is we have wall panels on. Um, we have a lot of wall panels on. You're going to see the black up for the first time today, and it looks fantastic. Uh, I am not sure what day this is of the uh, metal installation. I'll have it in the title, or I would have had it in the title that you've already seen. Um, but uh, I think I think it's day five, maybe six. But anyways, I'll so, I'll show you that. In the, in, I've missed a couple of days, so we're gonna combine some days here and uh, give you just an overall update of what we've done and how we've done it. So let me uh, start with just kind of giving you an overview or an update and just show you the black because it looks real good. Hang on. Okay, well, before I uh, show you this thing, let me just tell you about how hot it is here in Oklahoma. And let me just tell you about how awesome it is to be working with black metal panels and a charcoal roof when it's 96 degrees outside and the sun is beating down. My Hispanic buddies who are doing this are uh, not too excited about uh, Oklahoma summer that hit in the last two weeks. We uh, were complaining about rain, begging for heat, and now we've got all the heat we want. So it's not hit the hundreds yet, but uh, it's just early July. In August, it'll be here for sure. But we better be done with the metal on this barn by then. So let me uh, just not make you wait any longer. And uh, there she be. Uh, there it is, getting my head out of the way. The uh, black top is almost top, upper wall section is um, about four panels from being done and the bottom section is done and let me tell you up around those stall areas right over here I'm gonna go give you a close-up of that here in a minute how they wrap the jams it all just looks sweet so um, yeah so what you can see here is uh, we have all of our lower section done and I don't know if you can tell it from back here but there is uh, some chalk lines still on there where you can see how they chalk their straight lines. And uh, we'll dive into that here in just a second. Upstairs, you can see we've got all done but this middle section. We can't do this much more of that section yet, maybe one more panel, until we get the side long piece that's gonna come up and wrap over here. So uh, let me show you, as you can see around, let me zoom in here and show you around the windows and the fascia. You can see that that's still raw metal. That's because that's getting wrapped with white trim metal. Uh, the fascia is getting an oversized white J trim and that uh, those windows are getting like a C channel that's just gonna slide right over the top of uh, that wood. And those are all those pieces you saw me uh, cutting uh, last weekend. So let me, uh, let me take you up and show you the barn jam, the stall jams rather. So here's a close-up of the stall jam that really turned out really clean, really nice. I love how that turned out. This is our J channel right here that my hand's on. You can see it again right here too. So these pieces slide in behind it, just like right here. That bends out, but that's slid in behind it, and that's hiding that cut edge of that where it went up and around and over the door so the seam for that panel is actually right here that's the end of that panel there it's from there to there and so this cutout has a nasty edge but it all gets hidden behind this j trim and then this is essentially just another big c channel that sits behind the j trim and over the jam and returns back here i don't know if my camera's picking that up or not but it looks real good too. 
So all four of those are done that way. Um, let's go to the other side, show you that, and I'll talk about, um, you can see the, uh, the chalk lines that'll just rub right off. So uh, let's go talk about the, uh, the bottom uh, Z metal for the closure, but we'll show you that on the other side so you can see that too. So as you can see, they haven't gotten to this upper section yet. They will today. Uh, my guess is, is by the time they leave here, they'll, they're kind of taking it easy right now because it's so hot. They'll uh, probably continue to work till about 7. I think they left here last night at like 7.30, 7.45. So they'll, this is the hottest part of the day, so they'll let it be hot. And then once it starts to cool off, they'll jump back up there and get after it. Um, and probably work till, like I said, 7.30 or 8. Okay, so you can see all of the lower section is done over here. You also notice that door. That's one of the doors we installed yesterday. I'll take you over and show that here in just a second. But what I wanted to show you is right over here on the bottom. Uh, you heard me talk in previous videos. Sorry if my face is just covered in sweat. It's hot. Uh, you heard me talk in previous videos about the flashing and the importance of all of that and the Z metal and all that that goes into um, doing these metal walls and what makes them what makes a whole structure different than just a, a roof and how it's a little bit more ornate well you've seen that in the stall jams that's kind of a, a tricky thing you're gonna see that on the window siding but then another thing here is the Z metal and um, what I really like about this system is it uh, if you watched our slab pouring videos, you saw us have this two by two block out for the metal here. Well, now our Z metal sits onto that. And as you can see here, it wraps up behind. That's, that's just a panel. So it's wrapped up behind that panel and fashioned there. So there's no water, no bugs, no nothing is gonna get behind that. Uh, and then you also still have concrete slab there too. So that's a really good system. It's all the way 360 degrees around the building. Um, and then we'll do our soffits up here and there'll be a special piece of flashing. I'll show you that whenever we get there for that too. But So let's go look at the door. So let me preface this door scenario um, with uh, we don't have the exact right door frames for the application but we made it work um especially going to be making it work on the back one uh that was a leftover door i had from a previous job it was meant for a true red iron metal building so the door jam the frame is eight and a quarter inches wide and we are only like five inches wide and so we ended up going with four and five eighths inch jams um, which by the time you try to get out to the top of the lacers, it's great for two by four construction, which is what we have. But then we added an inch and a half lacer and that takes us an inch and a half too narrow. So we ended up making it work and I'll show you how we did that. But, uh, let me close the door here real quick. And I'll show you what it looks like if it will stay closed and not open back up. Oh, wood everywhere, wood everywhere. All right, so there it is. Looks great, nothing wrong with it. Um, perfectly installed, considering. <laughs> so um, basically these are knockdown frames. They come to me in three pieces. One side, the hinge side, and the header. Uh, and then you put it all together in the hole, literally, you put the header in place, you install your hinge side to your header, and then you install your striker side to your header. And then you secure it um, with, and I'll show you an empty frame to make this all make sense, but that screw right there has a plate that when you screw that Phillips head in, that plate pushes out and ends up friction fitting in this hole. So that's, that frame is not going anywhere. And then down here at the bottom, the only other fastener is right there. And it's one Phillips head screw that goes through there. And then so you have the exact same thing on this jam here. And then this header is just held in there with friction because it can't go anywhere. So the little 
interesting part we had to do for the application is you can see we have an inch and a half exposed right here so i had to take this jam and shove it to the outside to the to the outside of the lacer which meant we had to redo some framing here with the headers and stuff or really uh cripples because the headers were right up there at the top to slide this thing out to where it would sit flush on the outside and the fact that it sits inset an inch and a half on the inside is no big deal at all we just notched out the bottom plate and then we slid over our top cripple that you can see right there so that's it for the doors pretty easy let me show you what the frames look like uh, assembled before we put a door in the hole one more thing the only other thing we have to do is put that threshold in to that application but that threshold has to be cut and uh, we're just trying to stay out in front of the metal guys so that wasn't something we are worrying about right now but we'll do that in the next so here is the header and hinge side well actually there's going to be both hinge sides here because this is the double door header but let me show you where that piece is that screws out oh So it's that little clip right there that's on that bolt that's operated by that Phillips head screw right there. My camera's not really adjusting very well. But let me flip it over this way so you can see. There we go. That screw right there operates that bracket right there, which when screwed in, screws that bracket up against the framing behind the door to friction fit it. And you got Jay, who's getting ready to put one side together right now. These things fasten together with these tabs right here like that. They slide in. There's tabs going this way on the this way on the header and this way on the on the uh, hinge leg or the I'm sorry the frame leg, and it all snaps together just like you're supposed to do right here. So you can see the tabs. Pull that back out real quick so they can see. You can see these two tabs right here. And you see those two tabs right there and it all just kind of connects together but you can't do it like jay's done it here it's all got to be done in the hole which is a lot of fun so it's really not bad once you get the hang of it and have this again we're moving this door right now that's a this is going to be an interior door set up um what else was i going to show you there's one assembled on the ground so yeah, as far as uh, as far as doors go, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll go down here and show you this uh, end piece of the metal to show you how they're going to continue on. <clears throat> you can see here this Z metal. You can see the insulation folds and wraps the corner, but you can see that Z metal is notched and cut perfectly to turn the corner and bent back down um, so these guys have this to an art some of that still needs to be screwed off but that's that uh, one other thing i wanted to show you real quick that you haven't seen yet is our ridge piece and what we ended up doing for ridge on this thing so stand by so this is a leftover piece of uh, ridge cap it looks funny because the lights have been funny sunlight's coming through and hitting it funny but yeah that's a, a basically a piece of panel that is bent on our roof pitch at the factory and sent out to us um, to sit right over the top of our ridge so that covers where the two pieces come together and you saw that insulation in the last video uh, and it's going to hide all that insulation too and protect it so plenty of protection as you can see it comes down I think 16 or 18 inches each direction so uh, and fits right over the, the top of the existing panels that are up there which is real nice so uh, one more thing let's go look at a piece of trim that they're getting ready to use uh, you'll see go on once they start putting on the east and west side all right so um, when they get ready to start the east and west sides they're gonna have a point where um, this wall is going to meet the east wall and there's going to be two ugly corners right there and that all is going to get covered up with a piece of cap trim which is right here 
so this cap trim right here as you can see oh it's heavy um there's enough there for each of the corners of the building and basically that just sits over and overlaps each way looks like about looks like the overlap is roughly four inches and then it starts to uh, break back so uh, that's a piece of cap trim that's going to go on each corner of the building when they're ready for it um, so lots of information in this one i'm going to if they if jay and them will hurry up what time is it no i'm not going to i gotta go get my daughters amber's out of town this week so uh, i was going to show you a door installation but maybe we'll do it on the next we still have a few doors to install so i'll probably video that tomorrow and show it to you on the next video so that's it for today lots of information big update as far as the walls go you guys got to see the black on and it looks incredible they've had black on now since um friday of last week uh so i've seen it now for two or three days and they've been working for two days since then so they've got quite a bit done um with the wall panel in fact i wouldn't be surprised if they are completely done with wall panels by the end of this week and all they have left to do is a bunch of trim stuff so be really cool we got to get the uh, overhead door installed which will be coming up and uh yeah lots more exciting stuff so i will be back tomorrow with more uh metal installation footage and maybe probably a door install so until next time we'll see you up on the ridge